Hello there, hope you're enjoying your Saturday, the last day of meteorological summer. Glorious sighting here of last night's Aurora Borealis over Scarborough. As always, I missed it, so thank you to the Astro Dog team for sharing. We've got another one coming up in just a few secs. And of course, those clear skies last night, which gave such a great sighting, gave us a beautiful day today for the last day of summer before we head into autumn tomorrow. And it's all downhill, of course it is. So I hope you made the most of today. It was definitely the better day of the weekend. Tomorrow, a bit more cloud around. We tap into this humid plume of air which is pulling up from the south there and there will be some showers in the mix with some thunderstorms there and particularly prone are these areas east of the Pennine. So there's a warning in place from 4am until 9pm tomorrow for those thundery downpours which could move northwards. But let me take a look at the detail and take you through it. So overnight tonight, cloud starts to increase from the south. It begins to feel a bit more humid, a very different feel to how it was last night. And we start to see some isolated showers which could prove thundery moving northwards as well through the early hours of the morning, especially those temperatures way up on where they were last night too. And also those winds start to freshen at the coast and over the tops of the Pennines, maybe gusts of 20, 25 miles an hour. Another spectacular photo here. Thank you, Kurt. Sun is up tomorrow at 6.16 and sets about 5 to 8 in the evening. So it's a cloudier start tomorrow than today for most of us, especially further south. And then we start to see an increasing likelihood of these showers and thunderstorms pulsing northwards. They continue into the evening. Like I say, a very humid feel to the day. And then on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, low confidence over where the showers are going to be, but improving in brightness. Bye-bye. Hello there, hope you're enjoying your Saturday, the last day of meteorological summer. I can't believe it, but having said that, it's felt like autumn for the last few weeks, hasn't it? So, beautiful picture there. Thank you, John, for sharing that with us. I hope you enjoyed today. It was definitely the better day of the weekend. It's all downhill tomorrow. Well, it would be. So taking a closer look, tomorrow it will be a bit cloudier. We tap into this quite humid plume of air from the south, which draws up some showers and thunderstorms and particularly affects this area east of the Pennines. Now, there is a warning for thundery downpours for our part of the world in force from 4 a.m. tomorrow until 9 p.m. We will keep you posted on the movement of those downpours. But there's very low confidence in the showers and thundery outbreaks from Monday through to Wednesday. Monday itself, a real dog's dinner. So let's take a closer look and dive into to the detail what we can make of it so cloud increases from the south overnight tonight also a different feel from last night it's going to feel a lot more humid increasingly humid as the night wears on those temperatures way up on where they were last night when they were down in single figures a bit breezier at the coast and over higher ground as well maybe some gusts of 20 25 miles an hour and then we are into sunday the sun is up about quarter past six in the morning sets about 10 to 8 in the evening and it's a cloudier start than today as you can see and later on we start to see these thundery showers pulsing northwards. Some places will see them, some won't. Some may stay completely dry. But as I say, they continue pulsing northwards right the way through into the evening as well. Feeling warm and humid tomorrow, 22 to 72 Fahrenheit. And always the risk of showers over the next few days from Monday onwards, but low confidence, like I say. There is a high risk of more thundery downpours on Monday. Bye-bye.